Hi, I'm Chris Davila, and this is Chris's Connection. We're joined today uh, by Adriana Garcia, who is a native San Antonian artist. Um, how are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm Good. I'm really, really okay. happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me um, a little bit about your, your background and how you really got into painting. Because you, you come from such an iconic family here in San Antonio, so deeply rooted. So give us a little history. How I came to painting? Yes. Well, um, I grew up on the west side of San Antonio, and as I was growing up, I always passed by the courts, Cassiano courts, and um, there are these wonderful murals there, and I remember seeing them in my childhood, and my uncle, my uncle Diamond, who was part of uh, one of the founding members of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center, mm -hmm. uh, he was an artist as well, and so whenever he painted something, it was an event in my family, and we all went to go see what Diamond painted, and it just really was inspiring as a young person, and so I knew from a very young age that I wanted to, to do that. And be an artist. And be an artist, whatever that meant. I applied to go to art school, and I went to school in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. at Carnegie Mellon University. Mm -hmm. Hello, Carnegie. <laughs> and um, that's the first time I had a live model, and I thought that was like... That was the first time? Yeah, I thought wow. it was awesome. But I also have to give credit to, um, while I was in high school, going through a mural program with Jackie Von Hans, who just recently passed away. Mm. Um, and she was uh, one of my first instructors in in that world. So, rest in peace, Jackie. Yes. Yeah. So then you went away to Carnegie Mellon, Mellon, mm -hmm. came back here um, to San Antonio. And then I came back to San Antonio. Yeah. And um, um, got into computer graphics as well, and uh, just you know kept kept my creative inclinations going. And um, and then I got involved with the San Antonio Cultural Arts Center, mm -hmm. and my my uncle had passed away, um, as well as my grandfather I had a lot of death in the family mm -hmm. within one year, and so in order to kind of get through that and wanted to commemorate them, and they had asked me to do a painting of my of my grandfather and my uncle, and so it was just a really wonderful way of you know honor honoring. Uh, their existence and their influence on uh, not only me but also the, the community at large. So I did that, and then I was wondering, well, why haven't I? Why didn't? Why haven't I done this all my life? You know, like why haven't I been a part of it? So then, um, so then I was asked to to lead a mural um, through San Anto, and uh, was in charge of leading the mural at the mental health clinic mm -hmm. over there off of Sasamora, mm -hmm. and so and then. I just kept going. <laughs> well, now, here's my question. Your work is so immediately recognizable uh, because of your use of line. So where, where did that come from? I mean, did you, did you really, were you able to kind of develop that style really early on? Because really, anytime I think of your work, and this could go back for years, I always think of you and that kind of style of line. So when did that first kind of pop up for you? Well, I think perhaps maybe it was, um as a result of trying to use the paint to the very last drop. So mm -hmm. in order to make the paint last long, mm -hmm. I put a lot of medium in it or I made it very washed out mm -hmm. um, so that I can use more and more and more yeah. of it. And so what that did, was it created a, a kind of a look or a style that I really enjoyed in it. And it allowed me to be a little bit more free with mm -hmm. um, how whatever line I want to put on there because I knew well, I have it watered down, I could use more and more. Yeah. Um, and then that's also kind of how I am also just sporadic in mm. thought. And so kind of, it's kind of reflective. Okay, so let's see. Talk a little bit about, you have a show that's going to be opening in uh, January, right? I'm going to be having a show at the Art Gallery um, in January. And so it will be opening the second week of January. And, and is January that painting? It's going to be a combination of things. I'm still working on on some of the artwork there, and uh, so it's going to be some paintings. I'm thinking about installation, some some prints as well. It's been a while, right, since you've had a, a one person show here? Yeah, actually, it has. I think the last time I was in '07, and I did yeah. a tribute to my familia. Um, oh, that's in the the Garfas. That's right. right. I remember that one. And so I think it's about time. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. It's about time. I find that like now that. Um, the meeting the medium that I work on is usually really really large scale and I find myself wanting like wanting to go minute like yeah. back to like small and then I suspend expand again so 
Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have a website or, or any other place that uh, our viewers can go and find out more about you and your work? You can go to my Facebook. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested, you can either come take a class from Adriana yeah, okay. at the International Academy of Design and Technology or find her on Facebook. She's very easy to find on Facebook. Um, the last two questions are my big questions. Um, the first one is, in the last year that you've been creating work, what artist has influenced you most? In the last year? Mm -hmm. What artists have influenced me most? Um, I guess, like, I can't really say, a, 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 like, an artist per se. It, you know, it doesn't have to be an artist. It's just right. a person who influenced you. So I would have to say um, Aveta, uh, who is um, uh, a spiritual leader. And um, my discussions with him have very have influenced um, the direction of my work very much. So interesting so so it's uh, we talk about um, how there is uh, the spiritual uh, the spiritual world that we inhabit and then the material world that we inhabit mm -hmm. and that, that they're the same but we're trapped well not we're kind of trapped in this material existence mm -hmm. but to try to connect to that divine spirit that resides in all of us so that's I'm learning so much about you, <laughs> my goodness, because also when you think about, when I think about your work anyway, I also kind of can see, they, they do, your paintings, drawings have a real kind of ethereal feeling to them, you know, and a spiritual feeling also, again, calling, hearkening back to that use of line, uh, but we could go on forever. I have one more question, <laughs> and that is the best one of all, which is margaritas or micheladas, and why? Margaritas. Because it's yeah. nice and cold, <laughs> <laughs> and you get the salted rim and salt um, is a plus. And come on, tequila. <laughs> okay, frozen. there's no frozen better tequila. answer, right? <laughs> tequila. I say right. let's go do that now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Thank you so much for joining us, and also because this is going to be this is going to be our January show. We should say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All Yay. right. Happy we'll see New you year. next time.